right, so here we go. Anul Domini. This is the uh, the beach scenario. Dungeon game. Legend of Grimrock 2. Here we go. So we are, we come down in the night. And found this beach. And found this crab in fact. There are various gates around this place, but the most important thing is the sandals. Oh yes, suits you, sir. See, as long as they've got sandals. Um, what, what else? Um, oh yeah, there's a torch. There is a torch, dear boy. There it is. From that, you can kind of move out. And uh, have a look, look around. See if you can spot anything in the waves. Do find the odd rock. And then of course there's the seaweed. To the end of the seaweed, right up against here. Get quite a good view of the key. Just spotted it. Uh, there's a key there. It's just been dropped by some pirate or other. Uh, is there anything else? Oh yeah, it's another rock. Ah, oh, my god, I got it! That is really difficult to get. I'll tell you what, that is really difficult to get. Okay, so we've got our friendly crab here again. And where he goes, we go! And we just open the dungeon up. God, we have got a quarter staff. So chuffed with that. That is quite difficult to pick up. So if we go to his second position, uh, we've got this door here. So it's really tempting to think, I know, I'll unlock that door. But if you hold your horses, you can do that later. Uh, in the meantime, come here and see. Charlie boys, this is the barracks. So this is quite a fun bit. This is my favourite part of the game in fact. What you do is, you pop along here, put the key in here, and you see this bloke advancing towards you. Right, get, make sure you get out of the flipping way. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this. If you do, do not get hit by those flipping fireballs yourself. Because quite bloody hot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was the end of them anyway. Um, yeah, they last about 44 seconds. Just roughly, you know. Right, here's a lock. So what you do is you do a little note right there. Mine lock. It's actually a mine lock. So. Take a note of it. Um, oh, okay. So, oh yeah, she can have that one. Oh, there's a little bit more stuff in there yet. What else is there? All oh, right, might at all. Okay. So she can wear her sandals. So can he. So that's it. We are doing well. Um, so that's great. Oh. where we can try out the quarter star. I that quarter star. It's very difficult to get. Last time I played this I just gave up. It was so difficult. You can see the little tip of it. Oh my god, he's gone. He's gone. Right, the trousers. Uh, another shirt. Oh yeah, he's got nothing. 
Right, so if you wish to, you can pop out back to the beach in case you forgot anything, but I don't think you did. I think we got it all. What's that? Oh, there's one more rock. See, there's always one thing that you do forget. Always one thing that you do forget. So we're doing well. We are doing well. So if you're doing well, have a little sleep to get everybody up. And then do a save. This is half an hour of the Anno Domini game. Just half an hour to get you in the spirit. So oh, blimey, look at this flipping lot here. <gasps> wow, that is crucial. Blimey neck. Wow, that is so crucial. Honestly, that is bloody textbook, that is. Look at them. They are well sorted now. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, what are you going to do? I can just skate right through. I'd quite like doing that. You can skate right through. Twenty-nine. They are doing so well. He's got his flipping quarter staff there. I quite like that. Yeah, he's hitting them over the head with his quarter staff. Actually, I don't think it's quite as good as the rocks. Nine. They are in flipping tow. What a team! What a team! you can just shut that gate down and you can say I oh, know I'm gonna go for a little explore or is... oh, wait a minute ah wait a minute what's going on ah right there's a button okay so along here we got a gun we have got a fucking gun mate and he's qualified to use it um has he got firearms one in Nice. He can actually use that if he had any bullets. So this is the engine room. Uh, but be better off leaving that open actually, so that you can remember to use it. I suppose. What are you doing anyway? No, the place is deserted. The place is flipping deserted. Um, Team are really cracking on. You've got four. Alright, I suggest closing that down merely so that we can. Oh, blimey, that's not, not going to be easy, is it? Yeah, look, they're, they're taking damage now. They're taking damage. What you can do is you can just swap them over if the need arises. Yeah, that works. That does work. Oh, it works a treat. Um, so he can go back to that. Okay, so we grab this torch and we put it in this one. Oh my god. What's going on? Where the heck did that dog come from? I don't know. 
But, if you're very careful, you can sprint down the end here and grab all this stuff. It's flipping absolutely top stuff. Whatever happens, don't get caught in here. Uh, is it empty now? Yeah, it is. Um, so I suppose what you could do is you could just... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know. Look, save it, save it. Save the flipping game. I'll tell you what we really want to do. We want to <sighs> get that dog out. I think. <sighs> What's going on back down here? I don't know if anything is going on back down here. To be honest, but I'm just checking. No, you got you need a key for that. You do need a key. Right. Of course there's all this food in here, isn't there? Definitely need to... Ah, there's, there's clothing. There's proper food. There's shoes. There's darts. Blimey. No one followed this in. I think that dog might have gone down there. Do you know what? be a result. No. Hmm. Okay, I think we can just go straight ahead with this. by George. Armour, I think. Yeah. Is he going to go up on? He's going to go up on that one, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. For that, for the, wait a minute. Let's have a bit of a rest anyway. Before we do anything else. Okay. So what is down here? This is, we've had a really easy ride. happens now then? I don't know. I don't know. Um, tell you what, he can have that. There you go. Oh, going up. He is going up. Um, no. All right, I'm going to save it. I wasn't going to do that actually. I was going to look for his skills, but there you go. Um, skill. So, what is he going up on? Think about it. Um, I suppose he's going to do that. He's going 
gonna do concentration. We're gonna have another rest. And we've got about halfway through the half hour. Uh, the spider is still there. Oh, we've got this now. We've got this now. Blimey. Some lovely kit there. Oh, we got one of those red ones, haven't we? Put it on him. Got some good hits going in. Oh my god, we're all the way back here. We come all the way back here. So we'll come back and see you later. Got him out of the way. Hmm. He is a hazard, that spider. Right, well now we can take on the rest of them without too much of a problem. There are a few more gits around. I don't know where they've gone. Or is there just one more? I thought there was loads more, but there obviously isn't. I think there's just one more. He's right down the end here, I think. Yeah. Oh, they're just waiting. Didn't realise that. So you can't have that spider on the loose if you're going to take this lot on that. You know, that's just... Blimey, oh blimey. Oh no, this, these lot... These lot are flipping bad news, aren't they? They really are. Right, okay, now we're ready. God, that's quite impressive. That is quite impressive. Um, is that the whole lot? It is. Huh. Uh, got a sack. Got bullets. Actually, he's got a flintlock, hasn't he? Gone. He's got a flipping flintlock. Can actually fucking use it. Um. Try it on that spider, couldn't we? Bloody well, could. Oh, it's a nice vest that is. Oh, that's better than that. Wow. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I see. This is. Oh, this is really worth coming down here for. Flipping sorcerer, mate. Get in. Wow. Um. My goodness, mate. We really got some fantastic stuff. Um. Actually. I mean. Been knew it. Go on, let's see. We're going to use that flintlock on that um, spider just to get rid of the flipping thing. Um, I mean, this team are really going some. That was brilliant. It's 
work, could it? That is better That is flipping brilliant. Unfortunately, the flipping Minotaur has uh, been bitten by that sodding spider. Wow. Look at that for a flipping flintlock. It's quite chuffed with that. Um, yeah, do you know what? I think we would be better off leaving that in reserve. We'll, we'll do that. Ooh. Anyway, I mean, look at the flipping sorcerer. That is really top. God, it's really good to have the old sorcerer like that. Very nice too. Um, yeah, did well there. So what's next? We are coming up to the half hour. This is just a half hour demo. Um, So where do we go now? Oh, the jolly old mine. This is my favourite bit. This is my favourite bit, because up here, you have got a party box. Yes! Grabbed it. Go on then. Um, oh, I'll tell you what. He can have that. He can have that. He can have that. Gosh, he's got, oh, he's got look at bloody rat masters. Absolutely spoilt for choice. He really is. Um, Shoes, hat, proper food. Oh, go on, he's going to need it now. Go on. Um. So, unfortunately, Minotaur is suffering a bit. Um, but I've got tons and tons of stuff. Um, right, so. He can have the special hat. He can have the special shoes. Um, she has already got that. Um, he can have this. Let's have a look. Um, I suppose he can have that. Um, this is for the. He has. He's, a, he's got five darts. He's got five darts for gold's sake. Look at that. Yeah, look, the darts are three to nine. Hmm. It's difficult to know. Um, all looking good, aren't they? All looking good. You can see the mine key there, look. It's glowing. Okay, we have a mine key on the mine at all. Um, what else? What else? So I can actually see something else glowing there. Yeah, something in the in the dirt, which is in fact an ephoral blade. Uh, and if you look up at the ceiling, you can see all these strands hanging down which indicates a special yeah I can actually see a key there anything else yeah there's another key there look I can actually see it there is quite faint but it is there so we've done pretty well uh, what is there anything else in this place I think that is the sum total of what we're going to get um, obviously behind there there is some artifact of interest so we are going great guns so look up at the ceiling yeah align yourself with those strands this then this is a pickaxe 6 to 19 well it's not far off of that flipping axe oh we're down in this place this place is is brilliant when you first come down here when you first come down here it's like a joy to behold you know you can literally go anywhere but then the next time you come it turns into an absolute bloody nightmare 
See now the place is deserted. It's like uh, yeah, there's nothing here, you know. Apart from these stairs. Ah. Bombs. Definitely get them. Right, we chose the fire bombs. Always the thing to do, but we're going back to use that mine key now. Um, we did pick up a mine key which we found in the mine, uh, but that old city really be good if you could just go around the whole lot when it's deserted because uh, you go back there again, <sighs> it's not quite the same. So we come back to that. Here's the mine. Are definitely coming on. That is for sure. Cool, oh, cheeky! Wow. So the luxury bit is you can just slam the door down. So that's pretty good. Sandals, just. Oh, I know. He can have all his food in there, can't he? There you go. Have all your food in one place. Why don't you? So he's got darts there, and he's got stones there. Oh, fantastic! And he's got a flintlock as well. Blimey neck. Why not? So this looks a bit crazy. Got this gate here, this lock. See, this is the key that opens that. We haven't got a mine key. If you use one of these keys onto this, you start getting the ancient defences coming down, which at the moment would be wasted. So what we've got another five minutes, and that is the end of the half hour. So we have done almost half an hour on. This Anno Domini. It's an absolute blinding place to come. It's good. This is good. What happens next? Oh, of course, we go down to the mine. Oh, we're back to the old city, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go according to the usual route. This is it. Right, at the moment, the whole place is um, deserted. It's a really good idea to try and have a really good look around. Okay, we 
go back. This all seems like a waste of time. However, when you come back and find that the place has transformed into a raving nightmare, you might be glad that you did this little seemingly waste of time effort. Basically what you're doing is just mapping the place out for yourself. These are the bones! These are the bones of Ethelrad, the Great. So just make a little note. Bones, because basically what you got there is... This is where the mortar and pestle are, right in there. That opens up a little bit later. Um, this is all good stuff. You want to go as many places as you can that it will allow you to. Um, just keep going until you get everywhere, if possible. It's really worth it. Um, so you can just help yourself to this stuff. Um, Oh, hmm, who needs a set of clothes? I suppose she does, to be honest. I mean, she hasn't got, I know she's carrying around a whole set of heavy armor, but she can't wear it. I know that looks a bit weird, but he's got that. I suppose they could swap over. Um, wait a minute, he doesn't want this box, does he? That should be Minotaur. Minotaur, do your duty. Anybody wants a hat? I suppose he could have it, couldn't he? Um. Right, fair enough. So, what happens now? What happens now? Basically, we get the rapier sword. We get the rapier sword, but then you can't get out. So if you put the rapier sword back, you can get out. I think, no. Um, 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 um. I'll tell you what, uh, we'll take the rapier sword, we can't get out. Get the shirt. have we? He needs to have something to eat. He's going to have to have some of... Oh, go away with it. Go away with it. That's lucky. Uh, right, we've now got the rapier sword. Actually, let's have a little look. Um, this is 4 to 13. Blimey neck. The flipping skull cleave is better. Oh, accuracy plus 10. That's the payoff. That is the payoff. Ha! <sighs> Sword, mate. Uh, I don't know where we are. Oh, I do now. Right, so old city is really worth. I know it's a long trek back, but everybody is in good order. I mean, this is like a textbook. It doesn't always go like this. I've got to say. Uh, we just have one of those flipping. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Right, let's have a look. Where we've mapped out quite a lot. Um, which is damn good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, where are we going to go now? Let's have a look. Any point in doing that? Well, there was. So that's, that's a good idea. Wait a minute. We. Where do we actually want to go to? I think we want to go to this one here, do we? There's actually a stairs here. Which is these stairs here then? Let's check these out. Ah, uh, we're right, we're here. Oh, this is where we came to before. Forgot to pick this food up. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, actually, let's make a little note on here. Um, so, that's the vaults. Okay, so we, we, if you if you make a note on the map, it can really help, so you know where these different places are. Is that the stairs we came in? Yeah, that's the stairs we came in. So there's a couple more stairs that we... I bet it's there. I bet we need to get to there, yeah. Uh, that's the one. I think. No, it's not. See, this is where we came in. So this is the mine. So let's do a flip it. See, if you don't make a note on the map, you're constantly flipping making the same mistakes. Mine stairs. So that's really helpful to put that on there to stop yourself from going round in circles. Right, we're going to find the stairs that we want in a minute. Um, yeah, we're on the right track. Right now, we're going to go around to the stairs that we want. There's the bones, the mortars in there. So now, what are these stairs? Ah, uh, this is the basic tomb. So now we've arrived at the basic tomb. So the first thing we need to do is to go up here on the map, do a note, tomb, stairs. That really saves time. So you've got tomb stairs there, which is fine. And then you know what you're doing. That really does help. surrounded fangs even though enemies don't look that ferocious I still don't want to get surrounded so we got to this situation. This is quite a fun bit. But even though it is a fun bit, definitely save it at this point. This is the last couple of minutes of the half hour demo. Go out to here. We're looking for this button which is advertised by stripes and a mess on the floor. So you press it and you've got all these creatures coming down. Fireball coming. Yeah. 
because then we can just go here. I'll tell you what, that is such an improvement. Um, otherwise we were going to get absolutely surrounded there. So if you want to, you can actually scuttle down here to the other end. there. Oh, I mean that could have been quite bad. That could have been quite bad. So you come down here and... Oh, there you go. There's just a few of them to finish off. Oh, right, one of them followed, followed me through. Oh, I know. Can actually go out now. Ah yeah, you go up to the top here, and this has opened. Yeast! 